Hi everybody and welcome to a new episode of our Gaming Farms video review series. Today we will take a look at a logical platformer called Archibald's Adventures. Have your brain cells prepared and let's get started! The game is about teenage skater boy Archie who got stuck by accident in mention of crazy Professor Plumfus. It is not a surprise that something got wrong there, weird creatures from Professor's lab have escaped, and paranoid central computer locked down the whole place. Now our hero needs to get through nearly 200 levels to see the sunshine again. I'm sure that each of you have seen scenarios like this many times before, but it is nice that authors of the game thought up something that is giving your effort at least some point. Especially when there are funny comic strips telling the story as you proceed through the mansion. First levels are more like a tutorial and showing you what kind of actions you can take, how to jump over the holes, how big fall down you can survive yet, and so on. The levels itself are a nice mixture of arcade platforming and puzzle solving. Some of them are rather focused on your reflexes, while the other ones are more focused on your logical thinking. And some of them are the mixture of both. going to survive this whole down. Wow, that was close, but I survived. There are many obstacles in the game, consisting of various types of thorns, shards, spikes, acid pools, static canyons, etc. The good thing is that you always see them in advance, so your ability to avoid them depends just on your skills, unlike in previously reviewed 1001 spikes for example. Also, there is a clear logic in how far and how deep you can jump, so you can plan your actions precisely and when you do some mistake you always know where the problem was. Here comes the long jump. There are also various enemies, mostly the mutants, as a result of Professor's weird laboratory experiments. There is no violence in the game, so Archie cannot shoot them, but needs to find a way how to avoid the contact with them. There is a pattern in their behavior, so all you need to do is to find a good timing for your actions, not to let them show you their teeth from very short distance. And here comes another long jump. One, two, three, four, down. Puzzle solving action usually consists of pushing the levers in correct order or to use sticky bubble to move crates to the right spots to bypass the dangerous places. The control scheme is rather simple, left, right, up, down and action key. 
Control responsive it is okay on keyboard and jumping is automatic which makes control very easy to learn and you always perform the exact action that you wanted to do. The game is difficult enough to be challenging but thanks to responsive control, good level design and clear game mechanisms it is not frustrating and if you fail you always know that you can do better next time. The levels are rather small and there are also checkpoints that you can start from once you have passed them, which also encourages you to try to finish level again instead of rage quitting. As the levels are well designed and you can be almost sure that authors will come with something new in the next level, the game doesn't even need any score or ranking system as you are driven to proceed further just by your curiosity what comes next almost 200 levels in the game, so the long time fun is guaranteed. The graphics is in a comic style, funny with many colors and nice small details. Someone might find it small, especially on big screens, or too childish, but I personally find this style cute and would say that it suits the game. The graphic style, absence of violence and reasonable difficulty makes this game also accessible for kids. Although I would say that rather to school age kids than preschool ones because of complexity of some puzzles and required ability to read to learn a new stuff. And here is the puzzle solving using the bubble that I was talking about before. The game costs 4 euros on Steam, which is a very good price for the amount of fun that we will get if you buy it. As you could see my review was positive all time long, so it will not be a big surprise that the final verdict is going to be positive as well. I am giving this game thumbs up, and as for gaming's father's index, I was hesitating between 8 and 9 out of 10, but I have decided to reserve 9s and 10s for some extraordinary or revolutionary games so I'm giving Archibald's Adventures 8 plus out of 10. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next episode!